is your faithfulness, O oh God. You wrestle with the sinner's restless heart. You lead us by the waters and into mercy. And nothing can keep us apart. So remember your people. Remember your children. Remember your promise, oh God. That your grace is enough. Lord, your grace is enough. Oh, your grace is enough for me. Great is your love in justice, God of Jacob. You use the weak to lead the strong. You lead us in the song of your salvation. And all your people sing along. So remember your people. Remember your children. Remember your promise, oh God. That your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. Oh, your grace is enough. Heaven reaches down to us. Oh, your grace is enough for me. Oh, your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Lord, your grace is enough for me. Man, hallelujah. The amazing grace. You can't do anything with it. Jesus went to that cross for everyone in here. And as I look out across this congregation, there's many people from many different walks of life. But like the pastor said, we're going to the same heaven. And we can all come together under one roof to worship this King and this Savior. Hallelujah. And, and as I was younger, I always thought, Lord, what did you make me for? Well, he made me just to be a worshiper. Do I have any worshipers in this house tonight that's not ashamed to worship the mighty King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Hallelujah. Well, I know who I am because I know who you are. The cross is
Jesus is. Hallelujah. The cross of salvation. The cross of salvation was only the start. How many years now is glad to be in the house of the Lord? Jessica, I need my sheet. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. There's actually two rows. Isn't she great? <laughs> we, we really appreciate her. Uh, this song here is one that I wrote about two years ago, and it talks about the names of Jesus. And uh, uh, if you're here tonight and not saved, you might want to consider where you'll spend eternity at. But uh, yeah, let's see, I was going to say <laughs> something else, but I'm drawing a blank. It's a senior moment. I'm sure none of y'all have, have ever had those. Precious is the name, the name of Jesus. How beautiful the land that I was slain from thee. How cleansing is the blood that flowed to Calvary. How beautiful the name, the name of Jesus. His name is wonderful, beautiful, precious. And alive, his love is never ending, and it never dies. How could I ever pay this debt I owe to him? A depth of love that I could never understand. Well, it's never ending, 
the love of Jesus and so cleansing the blood of Jesus is precious and alive is free to you and I salvation through the blood in the name of How deadly was the sin he found in me How much love was needed to be nailed to a tree How far it must have seen for him to walk the trail of shame How wonderful the name, the name of Jesus His name is wonderful And the light, his love is never ending and it never dies. How could I ever pay this debt I owe to him? The depth of love that I could never understand. Oh, it's never ending, the love. Precious and the light is free to you and I. Salvation through the blood in the name of Jesus. generation finds it easy to blame society's problems on the ones before it and this was never more true than in the 1960s it was a hard time for many people including gospel singers and songwriters Bill and Gloria Gaither a severe Indiana winter compounded by illness and false accusations made them wonder whether they should even be rejoicing over the upcoming birth of their first child in early spring, they were walking across a paved parking lot with Bill's father. The elder Gaither pointed out a fragile blade of fresh green grass. It had pushed its way through the layers of dirt and concrete to reach the life-giving sunshine. That will to live had overcome the odds against this, its survival. The blade of grass became a symbol of God's work to the Gaithers, and it inspired Gloria to write about hope for her child and the entire world. And her song reminds us that we too have hope and the assurance of a future. In just three verses, we have the story of Jesus, a personal testimony, and a reminder of the eternal hope of victory over death, all just because he lives.
we've all had the blues, that melancholy, low-spirited, blah kind of day. And sometimes we just don't seem to be able to pull ourselves out of the doldrums. In 1963, prolific songwriter W.L. Moe Mercer was inspired to write a song in which he offered the real solution for ridding oneself of the blues. When we choose to serve him, we will find the joy that is missing in our lives. Interwoven with this piece is the contemporary Jake's Blues by Jeffrey David Hooven. Listen to what God's love and Jesus' sacrifice have done for us. Played by the community band with Randall Ambergie singing, He Takes Away My Blues. Originally written in 1893 as a poem to celebrate the natural beauty and history of America, this next song was set to music decades later. The song was considered for our national anthem, but was not selected. However, it has been sung at innumerable events, ranging from national political conventions to World Series games, by Ray Charles, who many consider a musical genius. Blind since childhood, Charles created his own style, begin blending blues, jazz, rock, country, and gospel music. His versions of familiar songs never failed to bring audiences to tears, moved by his mastery of the keyboard and his soulful vocalizations. In 1972, Ray Charles further cemented his place in gospel and patriotic music history with his recording of America the Beautiful.
everyone who opens their eyes to a new day has to be stricken anew by the glory of the creation. The awesome power displayed everywhere around us showcases the handiwork of the Creator, the same Creator who with ultimate and absolute power chose to sacrifice His Son for us. It truly is almost more than mere humans can understand. The late Elvis Presley loved to perform this next hymn because it brought him a great sense of peace and joy. He explained it this way, the song is so beautiful and so big that it makes it feel like you're the only person in the world when you sing it. Stuart K. Hine, who translated the original Carl Boberg poem, described it as the soul singing. See whether you agree with this description as you listen to how great thou art. God is good. Praise the Lord. We have a group from KMBC. I'd like for them to come up. Set apart from KMBC. Let's welcome them. Praise the Lord. his hands. 
hands his feet my savior on that cursed tree his body thankful for that name and he is worthy of all the praise more than anything else that it's not me it's nothing that I do it's nothing that I pour out of myself it's all glory to him and he is worthy (coughs) and I encourage you if you want to continue in praising his name and I encourage also for so I should say we're set apart from talking about Bible college and I will say in my time at KNBC I've seen God grow me in ways that I never knew were possible and in ways that I never knew he could equip me in. And if you are interested in music and in growing spiritually and to be able to 
impact other people to be transformed by the renewal of their mind. Those of you that attend, I know there's a few youth here, if you attend Breathitt County High School or you're homeschooled, wherever, if you're nearby, that KMBC is a great place to grow in your faith. But just know you can even still grow in your faith. But we encourage you to consider KMBC and to be a part of our journey. Praise God that we serve a trustworthy God, amen. That, that no matter what's going on in our life, if we seek him, he'll answer. Praise God. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. He's been my fourth man in the fire, time after time. Born of his spirit and washed in his blood. And what he did for me on Calvary is more than enough. So I trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. Submission, all is at rest. I know the author of tomorrow has ordered my steps. So this is my story, and this is my song. I'm praising my risen King and Savior all the day long. Oh, I trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. Trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. That's why I trust him. That's why I trust him. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered, I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered, that's why I trust him. I sought, I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered, I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered, I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. That's why I trust Him. That's why I trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. 
Well, I trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. I sought the Lord, and He heard, and He answered. I sought the Lord. And he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. That's why I trust him. That's why I trust him. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. That's why I trust Him. That's why I trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. Oh, I trust in God. My Savior, the one who will never fail, he will never fail. How neat is that to have KMBC here play for us? <laughs> Praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> Bill, come on up. Come on up, Bill. And Beth, then you follow a couple songs here. We're going to take an offering in a little while. I almost forgot about that, but I'll be in trouble. And the offering will go to the Ministerial Association here in Breathitt County. Wouldn't it be good if we get started and churches come together? And stay all night and praise the Lord. Or, or really get started the way God wants us to do. And everybody said, Amen. I'm looking for revival. So is Gary. Other pastors here. Danny's back there. Danny Spees. How many are ready for a revival in Breathitt County? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. the salvation plan before the foundation of the world. Yes. Revelation 13, 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Just pray for me. My throat's been acting up a little bit. <coughs>
Ain't God just awesome? And I want to add to that. Our God is a God of variety. If you look at the world, look at the different mountains, different plants, different flowers. He has color, beauty. God is a God of variety. If you look inside this church tonight, there's not one soul in here that is identical. Over 8 billion people in the world, and you won't find one identical. That's a God of variety. The music that's sung, Brother John, uh, it could be African gospel music. It could be Israelite gospel music. Afghanistan gospel music. American gospel music. Bluegrass gospel music. Country gospel music. Front porch gospel music. And even hillbilly gospel music, if that's what you sing. But you know what? When it comes from the heart, that's what counts. When you sing it to him from the heart, it doesn't make any difference what style of music it is. It's all for him. We're living in a world that's turned upside down right now. And every one of us have to make a choice. I want to serve Jesus. And I've talked, me and my wife's talked to many a time. There's a lot of things we don't agree with in the world. And you shouldn't either if you're a child of God. But we're going to have to make a choice one day. He's going to come back and take his bride out of here. And if you're not ready, you're not going to get to go. So you have a choice. So here's kind of like an old bluegrass country style song. It's called Which Way Will You Choose? As the world becomes entwined in the lies of Satan's mind, a leader will arise to take the reign. Saying love will bring us peace if you put your hope in me. Renounce the name of Jesus or be slain. Oh, which way will you choose? Which way will you choose? You got everything to gain. You got everything to lose. As the masses takes the mark, they believe the lie to chill their heart. They'll know the time has come to seal their fate. Those who cling to the cross will refuse and pay the cost. As God redeems his own from the sea of hay. So which way will you choose? Which way will you choose? You got everything to gain. You got everything to lose. As the ages cross to an end, hope will tumble down again. Lord will make them feel their sin and shame. You can make the choice right now. Trust in Christ your hope and crown. Or watch the world you love go up in flame. So which way will you choose? Which way will you choose? You got everything to gain. You got everything to lose. So which way will you choose? Which way will you choose? You got everything to gain. You got everything to lose. You got everything to gain. You got everything to lose. Amen. And I want to choose Jesus, don't you? He done so much for us. And I, 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 tell him, I, I tell him every morning, God, thank you for blessing this old boy. Without you, I couldn't make it through a day. He came to this earth. He did what he had to do for the Father and for you and be, and he died. He was buried, put in an old tomb. But let me tell you something. Three days later, he rose again. And he's alive sitting at the right hand of the Father making intercession for me and you. That's the reason why I can praise him and glorify him because I know one day I'm going to be with him in glory. 
He's going to come back and take me home. There was a mountain and there were three trees. There was a middle man and there were two thieves. A man called Barabbas he was doomed for the tree. But Jesus, he took the middle one, and Barabbas went free. I love that man in the middle. Because I know that he first loved me and praise to that man who died on Mount Calvary. The middle man made it possible for me to go free. A hill called Golgotha, the place of a skull. No yellow flowers or trees that bloom. The scenery was so dull. We crosses the black and bold against the dark sky. And not for fame, but a broken heart, that middle man died. I love that man in the middle, because I know that he first loved me. for me to go free. Yes, I love that man in the middle because I know for me to go free. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Roger, will you and Larry get a couple more up here so we can take an offering, please? Uh, John Couch back there, others. We're going to have a trumpet solo during the offering by the leader of the community band that I think you'll enjoy. Hadn't this been good tonight? Let's see. Um, is there anybody else that's going to sing beside Archie that, that I don't have on my list? Okay. If there is, just raise your hand let me know. And thank you, guys. Uh, where's Eldon at? Where's he sitting? I'm going to have you pray, brother. This man has been the leader of the Ministerial Association for years. Pray for our offering. Thank you, Brother John. Heavenly Father, we give you praise tonight. We've been able to get together and lift our voices, lift our hearts. We pray now, Lord, you help us to lift our, our hands to our billfolds and share in this way. And we ask you to bless the, 
fruits of these labors, God, as we look forward to Honey Festival and what we're going to be presenting with materials. Help us, Lord, to share now for that to happen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. about it. Can you do one more? He's adding up. I'll tell you what though, he's Randall Amberg is the leader of our community band. He can play the trumpet. Archie, come on up, buddy. We're going to end here very shortly, but how many really, really like these? We can do this again. I just think it's great. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, I could sit here for three or four more hours and just praise the Lord and enjoy it all. Uh, that trumpet, I could hear it all night. So that's and praise the Lord. Everybody knows Archie. Let's welcome him. Archie comes, a blessing. Amen. Archie sing one or two, and then Gary Bellamy can come up and close us. And uh, the next time we plan one of these, let's fill the place up. It's been great tonight. Thanks for everybody that shared, though. Archie, God bless you. reverberating you think wouldn't that be beautiful so can you hear me now yeah. praise the Lord good to be in the Lord's house tonight as many as two or more of us are gathered together if the Lord's there in the midst we were singing this little song at church this morning can you hear the old guitar Send down your fire from heaven Cleanse every soul of sin Lord, we desire to serve you Make us brand new again God sent the fire to Israel 
led them through the darkness of night Back to their homeland of Cana Back to the home of light Send down your fire from heaven Cleanse every soul of sin Lord, we desire to serve you Make us brand new again God sent the fire to Jerusalem Along with the mighty rushing wind Believers there preach the gospel Three thousand were saved from their sin Send down your fire from heaven Cleanse every soul of sin Lord, we desire to serve you Make us brand new again Send down your fire from heaven Hallelujah. Homegrown stuff, you know what I mean? And I don't mean that other stuff either, you know. Mm. Mm. This is for Pastor John Abner and Nancy. She requested that we try to sing this song, and I shucks, I hope she outlives me if she loves this life that much. I think I sang this song the last time I was here, so here it goes. Every time I hear the name of Jesus, Lord, it makes me just want to cry. Said, Father, not my will, your will he knew he had come to give his life he he is Christ he If I be lifted up, I draw men to me who believes might receive eternal life. It's taken from the cross, placed in a borrowed tomb. Great stone was rolled. Up to the door He He is Lord He He is Lord But on the third day That old stone Roll away Jesus came forth From the grave At the name of Jesus Every knee should bow Every tongue confess That he is Lord Son of God, oh, Son of God. Every time I hear the name of Jesus, Lord, it makes me 
just want to cry. He, he is Christ. He, he is Lord. Son of God. Jesus is your name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Gary, come on up, brother. Gary Bellamy, one of my best friends. Let me just say this. Gary said it right. When we get to heaven, Jesus isn't going to say, with the Baptist go over there, this. And we, we're all together. We're the family of God. Every last one of us on our way to heaven. Just glad to be back in the house of the Lord, and I'm just glad to see everybody from different places. Thank God for it. <clears throat> what a journey, what a journey it's been. Paul was a prisoner on a journey overseas, and a ship with a tempest was towing, but an angel of God stood by him and said, Fear not, for none will be long. What a journey it's been since I met the Master and Jesus saved from sin. The journey's been long and I'm nearing the end. What a journey, what a journey it's been. Now I started on this journey years ago with the Lord. Sometimes my ship's in a storm. But the Lord has kept his promise, never leave me alone. And someday my ship will sail home. What a journey it's been since I met the Master. And Jesus saved from sin. The journey's been long and I'm nearing the end. What a journey, what a journey it's been. What a journey it's been. Since I met the Master and Jesus saved from sin, the journey's been long and I'm nearing the end. What a journey, what a journey it's been. The journey's been long and I'm nearing the end. What a journey, what a journey it's been. Like I say, thank God for being here. Glad to see everybody, and I love everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Well, praise God, I enjoyed it all from start to finish, and it's good that God's people can get together and just uh, have a really good time in the Lord, and um, there's some very talented people in Breathitt County and from around, and uh, I appreciate you all sharing your ability with us here tonight and uh, your love for the Lord, and that's all that's going to count anyway. Earl sung that song, What a Journey It's Been. And I can tell you that um, my journey with the Lord has far exceeded my fondest dreams. And the fact of the matter is the best is yet to come. I want to share this real quick and then we'll pray and be dismissed. But in our, our Wednesday night Bible study, I was teaching from Psalms 23, Psalms 100 and John chapter 10, of course, where it talks about the shepherd and that we're the sheep of his pastor and we enter his gates with thanksgiving, etc. And then um, at the end of the Bible study, and I'd had this thought almost all day, but uh, you know, uh, if you're blessed to have a home down here, that's, uh, uh, and, and I told the story, the true story about uh, when my wife and I got married, we 
live 10 years in a single wide mobile home, and that's fine. That was great. That's some of the happiest times of my life. I look back and my little boys was, you know, that's, we just all grew up together in that little home. And then uh, after that, we built a home, and we lived in that home for seven years. And then we moved five times in two years. We was trying to buy a home, and it, if, if it was what we wanted, it was out of our price range. And if it was in our, within our price range, it wasn't what we wanted. So I got frustrated, and we just built another home. And we've been in that home for 26 years but the point that I want to make, when you start out, a lot of times you say, that's my starter home. And then after you move out of your starter home, a lot of times, if you're fortunate enough, you build your forever home. But there's no forever homes down here. And your forever home, if you're a child of God, there ain't no contractor build it, and you're not going to build it, and you ain't going to pay for it. But Jesus Christ went away to build us a forever home. And the good thing about it is, he said in John 14, he said, if I go away, and how many knows he did leave here? He said, I'm going to come again. And you may be the very generation, we may be the very generation that witnesses the coming of Christ. Only God knows. But he said, if I leave, and he did, he said, I will come again just as sure as he left. He will come again. But in between his leaving and coming again, he went away to prepare us a forever home. So even though that I have lived with, during my married life in three different homes, them are not my forever home. My forever home is the one that Jesus Christ went to build. And I don't get to go there because I deserve it, because I don't. I get to go there because of the love and grace of God. And that's the only way you can get there. So don't ever think we get good enough or can live good enough or close enough. It takes the grace of God and the blood of Jesus to get us to our forever home. And uh, what a time that'll be. Amen. Everybody in heaven's family. Everyone that's in heaven is family. And that's exciting to me because I like big families. But anyway, I, I appreciate all of you for being here tonight and, uh, and for enjoying the goodness of God and the, the, the message that was in all the songs was outstanding and we thank God for it. So if you will, stand with us all over the building and we'll be dismissed in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you, God, for... Jesus, the unspeakable gift from glory. And we thank you, God, that we've got something to look forward to. We're living in a dark day, God, but you said where evil abounds, grace does so much more abound, and I believe that with all of my heart. And God, I'm glad that the best is yet to come for your children. And I'm glad, God, that you're open to everyone. You declared through the writings of your son Jesus that him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. I'm glad, God, that you don't kick people out, but you take them in. And God, let that be the message of the church, your church. God, that we're a compassionate people, a loving people, a people that wants to help the lost and the least and the last, God. Let us be beacons of light of the hope that you have shed abroad in our hearts by your spirit. And Lord, as all the people that are here tonight that comes from different communities and different areas, we pray that you will give them traveling mercies as they make their way to the place that they call home, God. But above everything else, Lord, help us to be prepared for that great day when we will receive our forever home that your son went away to build for us. And we'll never fail to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. And let everybody shout, Amen. Amen.